But first, terror at a valley zoo. A woman bleeding and in pain after she was attacked by a jaguar. And that is where our coverage begins tonight. We want to thank you for joining us. I'm Danielle Lerner. I'm Dan Spindle. Right now, that woman is recovering after being scratched by a jaguar at Wildlife World Zoo and Aquarium. Zoo officials telling us it happened because of human error by that guest. ABC 15's John Treeweiler live there tonight. What do we know, John? Well, Dan and Danielle, that scratch pretty deep on that woman's arm. This all happening just before the zoo was about to close for the evening. We do have some video we can show you of moments after this incident. A warning It's pretty graphic and we've blurred part of it, but we can show it to you. You can see the female guest laying on the ground, calling out in pain as others are around her trying to help her. The zoo director this evening telling us that that guest went over a barrier and got up to the fence line of the Jaguars enclosure got close enough and was attempting to take a selfie with the animal. As a result, that Jaguars claws were able to get through the fence and scratch the guest. The zoo's message tonight is very simple. Their barriers are in place for a reason. I think you observe the barrier. They're there for a good reason. We try to keep everyone safe. We have an excellent safety record here with all of our animals. For the past 35 years, Wildlife World Zoo has served literally hundreds of thousands and over a million customers with very few injuries. And uh, usually those injuries result from misbehavior of the visitor or human error. Now, the zoo director also telling us tonight this is actually the second time that this Jaguar has scratched a guest. We're told it previously happened out here because of a similar incident when a guest got too close to the fence line and went over a barrier. The zoo says they will not be euthanizing this animal because the animal did nothing wrong. It is not the animal's fault. That female woman or that woman who was a guest out here, we're told, is in her 30s and she was transported by rural Metro Fire with non-life threatening injuries. Dan and Danielle, we are live in Litchfield Park tonight. I'm John Treeweiler, ABC 15, Arizona. All right, thank you, John.